The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, near Geneva, Switzerland, is setting records by smashing protons together harder than ever before. This was the scene at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN, on March 30th, 2010, as the LHC set a new record for high-energy proton collisions. So during high-energy experiments in the LHC, these very, very high-energy protons are fl flying around the ring, and eventually at strategic points around the ring, they're commanded to cross paths and collide. And at the point where they collide, it produces a very, very energetic explosion. And in fact, this explosion is so energetic, it can be compared compare to the Big Bang over 13 billion years ago, because the energy density is so tight. It doesn't actually produce a Big Bang, but it's, it's still... It's still very energetic. Scientists are hoping that these tests will confirm or disprove existing theories about how our universe is put together on a subatomic level. While the collisions happen instantaneously, getting answers can take a lot longer. They're trying to find these individual particles that are created from this miniature Big Bang, and that produces gigabytes, I mean terabytes of data, and it's up to the computing systems at CERN to pull out all that information from the detectors, dump it all onto hard disks, and then it takes months, if not years, to actually go through all this data. So one collision event can produce terabytes of data. The fact that these experiments could usher in a new era of scientific understanding of theoretical particles has these researchers very excited. We are just at the beginning. Clearly we have to do a lot of work. We have to understand our detector, to understand physics in this new region of energy. But uh, if we are lucky, in, within a few months, we'll be able to really start a major adventure in modern physics. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.